Hey guys, it's Ryan in Ecuador sharing this beautiful country with you via video. This is a video. I just got back from a road trip. We drove down the Pan Am Highway over to Banos and it was incredible. I think Banos is probably one of the best tourist attractions in all of Ecuador. Banos is, I mean, it's hard to describe it with words. I think the best way to describe it would be In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite part about Banos. It's actually what the city's named after. The full name of the city is Banos de Agua Santa, which means baths of holy water. I'm gonna take you into the public thermal baths, the way the locals do it. These are natural hot springs fed by a volcano. Really cool experience. It's just, it was totally... Ah! I don't know, people like this. Y'all don't know 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 people like this. There's a lot of great hiking in Banos. We did about a three hour hike into the surrounding hills. It was grueling, our muscles ached, but what better way to relax after than hot springs? While in the city, we visited two different public thermal baths. The first one's right in the town. It's by the waterfall. It's called the Thermas de la Virgen, which means the thermals of the Virgin. During the day, you can sit there in the waters and just watch the waterfall come down. But it's actually better to go at night because it's a little hot during the day and the night it cools down so it feels a lot better. I didn't actually bring my camera to that one so I don't really have any footage of it, but we had an incredible time. What I really love about this one is its proximity to downtown. I think the pools are a little bit bigger than the one I'm gonna show you in a second. They also have seats around the edge of the pool so you can sit and they have a mega hot pool. This thing was 42 degrees Celsius, 118 Fahrenheit. So toasty. I just got in up to my neck and I could only stay in for like a second I had to get out. We had a lot of fun at Termas de la Vergen, but the second night we decided to try an even more local experience. This one's out of the tourist area, so most of the people that go there are Banyosians, Banyish, Banyosomaniacs. It's about a 30 minute walk. You head out of the downtown area, cross a bridge, and kind of on the outskirts of town, I guess. It's called Termas El Salado, and you can find it at the end of Avenida El Salado, which is a quiet residential road. It's located right next to a river that trickles down from Tungurahua Volcano, the volcano that the province is actually named after. The cost to enter was $4, and you'll need a swimming cap, which I believe you can purchase there for just a dollar or rent one for 50 cents. After you change, you put your belongings in a basket and they store it behind the counter. And then you have to shower off before you get into the thermal baths. Okay, let's do a quick breakdown of the pools here. You got your cold pool, which is quite cold. This one's a bit warmer, I'd say about room temperature. This one's just warm, and the one under the awning is hot. There's also another pool that was closed down when we were there. I think it's just for normal swimming, and it's only open during the day, maybe. We immediately started with the hot, which maybe was a mistake, but you know, I was all giddy with excitement. It didn't take long for us to get overheated though, so we went into the warm pool to kind of make a strategy. We essentially tried two different strategies. The first one was to do a quick plunge in the cold, which is, like I said, quite cold, and then immediately warm up in the hottest one. After that, we tried a gradual strategy where we would go into the cold, then the room temperature one, then the warm, and finally the hot. In my opinion, the best was just the cycle between the hottest and the coldest one, just back and forth between the two, which is what most of the locals were doing. Hey, Sarah, you should see the shot of your butt I got at the hot springs. What? Why? I don't want TV. As you get into the cold, it seems like it's going to be really deadly, but you dip into it and you just stay perfectly still and it's actually quite meditative. We would sit in there for like three or four minutes just perfectly still in the cold and then we'd jump in the hot and it would feel incredible. If you're really brave, you can actually go down to the river and cool off in it. Okay, now I want to talk about the negative things people have said about these thermal baths. To do this, I refer to TripAdvisor, where morons go to vent their frustrations about how they weren't babied enough or how they can't cope with basic instructions. Terma El Salado has a 3.5 out of 5 with 96 reviews. Let's see what the people who didn't like it had to say. Mark M left a lengthy review about how much he hated it. He says, it is situated in an otherwise pretty canyon with too much evidence of partially completed structures and man's general disregard for nature. Too bad. Well, sorry that the local people's houses aren't nice enough for you and they can't afford to finish them to your liking. He continues, first we were greeted with a very pushy guy demanding we wear shower caps. I shave my head. I have no hair concerns, but he persisted. Yeah, 
that's the rules. If you're completely bald, you don't have to wear one, but if you have even short, short, tiny hair and no hair concerns, you still have to wear one. The wife gave up with the no gracias and he asked for a dollar. She bought one, I said no, and proceeded. Okay, so you broke the rules. All right. And then he again mentions how a lady approached him and demanded he wear a cap, and so he caved and she charged him 50 cents. He also insinuates that his wife was ripped off because she was charged a dollar. For the record, it costs a dollar to buy one, 50 cents to rent one. I was immediately reminded to shower before entering. Yep, just did at home and not in filth. Again, these are the rules. They apply to everyone, even stuck up little baby knobs. This guy goes on to complain about how the locals got too close to him, how the water is dark brown, and when he got back to his hotel, he immediately went to the pharmacy to get an antifungal foot spray. What a drama queen. Someone else down here also mentions how the waters were brown and how the water seemed to not have any chlor, which I'm assuming means chlorine, and that it didn't feel clean. Okay, so the water is brown because it has minerals in it. It comes from a volcano. I don't know why you'd want chlorine in it. It's natural, it's healthy, it's not dirty. The actual bottom of the hot pool is kind of rocky, like it was carved out of stone. And if you walk around in it, you'll actually come across areas where you can feel the hot water coming into it because it's coming through the stones. This is like cooler in terms of like more, it's coming through the volcanic stones on the floor. Like that's crazy. And the cooler pools are the same, except they dilute the water with cold water. They're not dirty. In fact, they're drained and cleaned twice a day. They also have you shower off so you don't bring your dirt into them. They have you wear the bathing cap so your hair don't fall off in it. I don't know how you can complain about it being dirty and also complain about having to clean yourself before you go into it. And for the record, I think the bathing caps are lovely. This other reviewer complained that there were local women and men in separate groups gossiping. Yeah, that's what people do. What, were they scared that they were talking about this person's third nipple or something? Okay, I need to stop looking at these. This person said it smelled like old lady urine. No, it smelled like mineral rich waters that's good for your skin and feels incredible. Personally, I love the experience. It was totally soothing. I love that the locals were there. There was a real community feeling to it. If you do make it to Banos, definitely check out the public baths. Go there with an open mind and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So please subscribe. Hit the bell icon after you subscribe to get notified of upcoming videos. And also hit that thumbs up. That would be... I can't really do it with my left. Hold on. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm gonna go mall. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't save. Look at my face. Look at my grace. Don't match up, no love. Fuck a date. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, I stop. Yeah. When I check the cost, I was like, oh, that's expensive. I roll flex in my ear.